Hi, Dr. Joe here to talk again about vitamin D and type 1 diabetes or all other diabetes. I had mentioned before it is known to be related to what was happening in Finland where they had no D in the healthcare system and a lot of diabetes occurred. They report, reportedly put it all back to normal, in other words, the instance of diabetes 1 and 2, by re replacing all the vitamin D in the system. So here's a piece from an old friend of mine, Norm Shealy, MD, PhD, uh, who sends me something from the Pediatric Diabetes 2009, November 9th, where they found something like this also in India, where the incidence of type 1 diabetes uh, strongly was elevated when they had very low levels of vitamin D in the blood. So here's yet another place where if you don't want your children to have diabetes one, at least something to think about as we go forward, is to make sure vitamin D is adequate within their system. What's adequate? Well, we don't know for sure yet. It's going through a lot of other studies. But I would say in the area where you have something like around a, a value around 100 in the blood, don't like to do a lot of blood testing uh, on children, but this is a situation where it might be good to get some sort of baseline anyway so that you know what to do.